Culture is an interesting word. I would say in the HR sphere 20 years ago, we would be talking about job satisfaction. And then we stopped talking about job satisfaction and we started talking more about employee engagement. And now the shift is moving even from talking about employee engagement to talking about organizational culture. And all three of those things, the final two in, in, in particular, I think are, are really, really connected and they're not the same thing. Um, working in an organization like WestJet, where culture was a word that we pretty much use in our daily discourse. And even now as a retiree, I'm a retired WestJetter. So the social identity of, of being part of WestJet uh, was core to the culture and culture and, and being mindful and having culture top of mind is very much part of that organization's um, DNA, which has been so key to WestJet's success. Part of the challenge with culture, and so if, if I give you the definition, definition of culture, Culture is really the shared set of assumptions, beliefs, values, behaviors that lead to learned practices, processes, and structures that, that lead to and artifacts that shape and represent, air quotes, the way we do things. And so very simply put, culture is the way we do things. Engagement is the way we feel about the way that we do things. And my experience has been in, in working with a number of different practitioners over the years is often when we're talking, uh, we think we're talking about culture, we're really talking about engagement. And, and the challenge in talking about culture is the things that actually drive it most powerfully, the underlying assumptions and beliefs live beneath the surface of our awareness. And we often don't speak of them. Thus, I mean, the very, the very definition of the word assumption is we assume it to be true, so I don't need to speak about it. And so a lot of the work that, that um, I was involved in at WestJet, a lot of the work that I'm now involved in as a private practitioner working with different clients is really helping to surface the things that we're not aware of and the things that we don't talk about so that we can be much more intentional, so that we can be much more effective in noticing, so that we can move forward um, much more powerfully. Um, the other thing about culture sometimes is when you use the word culture, people will use language like fluffy or airy fairy or soft skills. Peter Drucker is, is famously quoted as saying that culture eats strategy for breakfast. And that is true. Culture is not something that is fluffy or soft. If you go now go to the slide that is previous, what culture is, it is the driving path that puts strategy into action. And so this image that's up on, on the screen right now, it's really, really important. Um, I've been using this particular image for the last few years to help uh, leaders and teams and organizations understand the connection between culture and strategy. And it also, you'll see there the why, the how, the what. Uh, many folks that are listening in on this uh, webinar probably are familiar with the work of Simon Sinek, Start With Why. I had the opportunity to work with Simon Sinek um, in 2012 and have really taken his you know, rigid minimal structure framework, these three elements, and put them into uh, practice in everything that I do. And so if our why is both our mission and, mission and our vision, our mission being why it is that we exist, what is the purpose that only we fulfill, and our vision being that purpose actu actualized in a future state, then strategy is the what. And so strategy, you know, is made up of goals, it's made up of activities, it's made up of objectives. And it is, strategy is the thing that most powerfully guides organizations in moving forward. Culture, on the other side, is really the other side of the corn, coin. And culture is made up of what we value, what we practice, how we behave. And as I said earlier, underlying all of that, what we assume and what we hold as core beliefs. And so when Drucker you know, was quoted as saying that culture eats strategy for breakfast, I can imagine that we've all had an experience of where we've had a really great strategy, a really great initiative, a really powerful set of actions that need to happen, and air quotes, something gets in the way. That something is often the culture or the, the way in which people are doing things. And so the work in organizations um, when we're talking about culture, always, I believe, needs to necessarily be in the context of what we're working to achieve. And then culture becomes the very powerful how, and it also becomes the very powerful who.